Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. In today's video, we're gonna look at how lawyers can look at smart contracts not as a threat, but as a tool that can be leveraged. As always, if you find this topic interesting, then you can let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. You can also let us know if you find it interesting by saying so in the comments down below. Now let's jump into it. A contract is a written or spoken agreement that's intended to be enforceable by law. On the other hand, a smart contract is a transactional protocol designed to be self-executing and one that documents legally relevant events according to the terms of an agreement. When two parties agree to an offer made by the one party and accepted by the other, the contract becomes legally binding in traditional arrangements. On the other hand, smart contracts are designed to run on a decentralized blockchain network in order to reduce the need for a trusted mediator, arbitration, and service and maintenance cost. Even though smart contracts are not legally binding, Smart contracts have all the elements of a legally enforceable contract. Blockchain being the force behind smart contracts is a pivotal innovation to transform the legal industry. Business clients across different sectors embrace blockchain technology, which will influence lawyers and legal institutions to embrace smart contracts as the new medium of transfer of value and contract agreement. So if you happen to be a lawyer, you might be afraid that smart contracts might replace lawyers but a hybrid model could be developed instead and encompass the use of both traditional systems and smart contracts. Using smart contracts, which are more efficient, quick, and effective, we assume everything will go as planned. However, we usually encounter shortcomings along the way in the real world. A mechanical or natural disaster might be a part of the shortcomings of either party, which could lead to a dispute. And in the case of a dispute, a fair resolution is needed. And because of this, a legally binding setup is required. So now let's have a look at some of the areas where lawyers could leverage smart contracts. Now the first one, as I mentioned, is dispute resolution. In the case of a rise in dispute, smart contracts could hinder fair resolution by making it difficult to identify someone to sue because of its anonymous nature. Lawyers can offer dispute resolution services using a smart contract, which is the case with Claros. Industry organization advancing standards. Different industries worldwide are building consortiums to standardize the use of smart contracts within their ecosystem. Lawyers can leverage this process by contributing and adding clauses that protect and ensure legal frameworks are set to guide the implementation, terms, and use of smart contracts. Intellectual property rights. The government and legal institutes can easily manage copyright issues and rights management through smart contracts since they're more efficient than traditional records. By using smart contracts, a lawyer can set up the legal requirements and terms of sale and licensing of intellectual property rights. So there we have it. A vast amount of time, energy, and resources is spent on gathering, organization, and record storage. Most of these records are still stored on paper, while digital storage and record keeping evolve day by day. Through smart contracts, the legal industry can transform to be more efficient, transparent, and cost-effective. Once on the blockchain, legal public records will be easier to search as compared to current technology. Smart contracts should therefore not be viewed as the technology to replace lawyers, but rather as an improvement and strengthening factor focused on pursuing the client's best interest. Once again, if you found this topic interesting, don't forget to let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel. Also, let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.